I think my sister and I aren't biologically related. So my sister and I were at our local bowling zone for this event our church was hosting. And before we went in, I was like full of confidence in myself. Today will be the day my bowling prowess finally shines in the dark after peaking not at nine guns. <laughs> Alrighty, we're here. I walk inside and my adrenaline is pumping hard. Like, you know that feeling when you know whatever you're about to do is about to go so well? While well, I was feeling that, I was in the zone. My sister goes to her lane with her friends and I go to my lane with some of my friends and we set up our profiles and we start. When it was finally my turn, I gave it my all. And guess what? I hit a strike. Whoa! I was feeling it. I was in the zone. Huh? What's, what's going on? Psst, 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 psst. Oh, come on. You're telling me that was a dream? Okay, fine. I guess I'll tell you what really happened. I ended up getting five plus gutters. But like, that's not even that bad. As a pity reward, I ate some of the pizza provided at the bowling alley, and after I finished, I decided to clean my hands with those baby white packages the bowling alley had in a black container. I grab one baby white package, and as I wait for my next bowling game, I go over to my sister's lane to see how she's doing. Keep in mind that my sister is 4 years younger than me. I'm 15, she's 11. I see her bowling score, and first of all, she's not even halfway done. She's only on round 4. And second of all, she has 45 points. What? Me, a 15-year-old, gets 35 points in 10 rounds, and my sister, an 11-year-old, gets 45 points in 4 rounds for bumpers. What is going on? As I'm contemplating this whole bowling experience, I open my baby white package since my hands are still greasy. As I'm contemplating, I open my baby white package and I put my hand inside to grab it, but then I feel something a little bit powdery. I look below and I notice that I grabbed the pomegranate cheese package instead of the baby white package. Okay, look. In my defense, they were both small white packages. Like, come on. So here I am complaining about how I think my sister isn't biological to me because of her bowling skills while I'm dipping my hands inside a pomegranate cheese package. This whole bowling experience reminded me of how different my sister and I are. My sister has absolutely perfect vision while I have horrendous vision, and my sister having a perfect teeth structure while I have to wear braces for two years. So this reminded me of how mitosis and meiosis worked in our lives. So let's get to the main point of the video. How does mitosis and meiosis work? Let's look at the bigger picture. Our body contains cells. These cells have a nucleus and these nucleuses have genomes. These genomes are in complex strands, but when cell division is about to occur, these strands are called chromosomes. In terms of cell division, two most common types of cell division are meiosis and mitosis. What is meiosis and mitosis? Mitosis allows our body to grow. It's the process when our height, weight, and other growing factors grow. Meiosis is when reproduction occurs. Meiosis creates male and female cells specifically for reproduction to create us as humans. So back to the processes of mitosis and meiosis. There are various phases in both mitosis and meiosis. For mitosis, there are five phases, which are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. For meiosis, the process is very similar to mitosis, but instead of going through five phases, it goes through twice as many phases. So meiosis would have 10 phases, prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, telophase 1, and prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, and lastly, telophase 2. We can shorten these phrases to PMAT. So mitosis goes through PMAT, and meiosis goes through PMAT1 and PMAT2. Oh yeah, and FYI, mitosis and meiosis doesn't actually start with PMAT. It actually begins with interphase first. Interphase is like the process where it ensures that the cell is ready to divide. Interphase grows and copies genetic information in the cell. So now it's time for PMAT. Prophase, the first phase in mitosis slash meiosis. Prophase, to put simply, is the preparation, basically, in each of these mitosis and meiosis processes. Now, metaphase, the second phase in mitosis and meiosis. Metaphase lines up these chromosomes in a line in the middle of the nucleus. Anaphase, the third phase in mitosis slash meiosis. Anaphase splits the chromosomes that are in the line. Telophase, the fourth phase in mitosis slash meiosis where the chromosome that got split form into two nucleuses, now ready to split into new cells, since each cell has a nucleus. PMAT is basically the same process for meiosis and mitosis, but they differ during prophase, the very first step, aka the preparation step. For meiosis, chromosomes pair with their same chromosomes. For mitosis, chromosomes don't pair, Rather, they just thicken. So with that knowledge, in mitosis, where cells go through PMAT, they end up with chromatids. 
But for meiosis, the cells still have chromosomes, and so meiosis goes through PMAT again. So now, what's the aftermath? In mitosis case, mitosis produces somatic cells, which are cells like blood cells, muscle cells, etc. In meiosis case, since meiosis is a reproductive process, it produces gametes from the four cells it produced. These gametes are either male or female, depending on which gender produced the gamete. And when they join, it forms a zygote, which is the beginning to a new life for a very human. I hope you enjoyed this video on the basics of meiosis and mitosis. My sister and I are in fact biologically related, but we are insanely different. It's kind of crazy. In a way, I sometimes do feel like she got all the good genes, but hey, genes aren't everything.